If he was available, I was taking it. I kind of had a feeling which team I was going to be on. After Kyrie Irving stunned the basketball world with a trade request this summer, all it took was a January phone call by LeBron James to get him back on his team, if only for a weekend. When it came time for the Cleveland Cavaliers captain to make his pick in the All-Star Draft and Irving was on the board, he cast whatever pride or pettiness he might have felt aside. There would be a reunion in Los Angeles. Anytime I get an opportunity to be with a fellow teammate of mine on the same court, and then you add on the fact that what we was able to accomplish in the three years, it just makes it special. You know, you automatically start thinking about the moments. Curry, one on one, Irving puts it up. Let's go! Kyrie Irving from downtown! Cleveland is a city of champions once again! Maybe it shouldn't be so surprising. They hugged on opening night, after all. As details of their sometimes rocky relationship have trickled out, they've refrained from ever slamming one another off the top rope, save for a tweak or two. I try to do whatever I could do to, to help the kid out. The kid wanted to do what was best for his, uh, I guess, for his career. Just try to help the kid be as great as he could be or as great as he wanted to be, and, uh, you know, and that's it. However frosty things might actually be with Kyrie now in Boston, both players participated in a very public thaw over the weekend. The first time they spoke as teammates again, don't bother lip reading. Just normal. Sorry, I, I, know, I know that sounds like not a lot, but it's just normal. The relationship may remain normal. However, the experience of playing alongside LeBron is something Kyrie can appreciate again. It's pretty awesome, man.